I started right here in North Carolina really? doing stand-up comedy in Charlotte. Uh, you know, I was out here just being a son of a preacher, man. Before Nick Cannon went from Nickelodeon's sweetheart to Will Smith 2.0 with a successful career in rap, TV production, talent management, and was picking up all the ladies. Wait, that's it. Before he managed Amber Rose and smashed Christina Milian, Nicole Scherzinger, Salida Ebanks, and Kim Kardashian, before sealing the deal with Mariah on their wedding night. I didn't know the Kim Kardashian thing. She did, bitch. No, did any? You just I forgot alone? because there's been a lot of people since me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Before Nick Cannon became the chairman of Team Nick and chief creative officer of Radio Shack with an estimated net worth of $50 million. Imagine, Big, you at your house, right? Yeah. And your wife make way more money than you. Right. You, you only get a small section in the refrigerator. Before Nick would engage in a decade-long battle with Eminem, first asking him to engage in a celebrity fight, and more recently asking him to have a rap battle, all for charity with a price tag of $100,000. Last time I saw you, you were getting ready to battle Eminem. Hip hop needs this. Find me somebody to battle for a hundred grand. hundred guys, so you, are you putting up a hundred? I'm putting up a hundred. Before Nick and Mariah finalized their divorce after living separately for months, putting this stud back on the market. Nick Cannon doesn't necessarily bring to mind the word street cred, but there's no denying that the young stud is a talented man and an absolute workhorse. Nick wasted no time in getting his career going, starting off in stand-up TV when he was just 11 years young. By the time he was 17, Nick had become the youngest television writer in history and was picking up credits not only as a writer, actor, and comedian, but also as a producer and a director. The entertainment biz isn't the only thing he cracked at a young age, losing his virginity as young as 13 although that didn't go exactly as planned, and he cried after describing it as a traumatic experience. See what I was saying about the whole street cred thing? You know. It's Nick Cannon, the cat you ain't used to, the rapper, actor, comedian, slash producer. What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Nick Cannon prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. You know, we're working our way up and down Hollywood, making bios on absolutely everyone. Do you want to see one on Nick's ex Mariah? I mean, it is Christmas time and her songs are everywhere or perhaps it'll be an after they're famous. Let us know in the comment section down below who you want us to document next. Just a little bit of pain when I rip your skirt from your little bit of brain. Whole lot of freaking, whole lot of cash. Show the young Nick with a whole lot of... Nicholas Scott Cannon was born in San Diego on October 8, 1980. His mom, Beth, was an accountant while dad, James, worked as a televangelist. The two were still teens when little Nick came along, living in a public assistance area known as Bay Vista. It was Nick's granddad who played a pivotal role in raising this young stud. I really do keep calling this guy a young stud, an awful lot, although I do think he's more handsome than he is talented. Personal opinion. I wanted to be a comic. I wanted to be a rapper. I didn't know if I was talented enough to matter. Then I saw Nick Cannon, and I realized talent didn't matter. <laughs> Nick took himself very seriously, even as a youngin, introducing himself to everyone by his full name as young as four or five. He stated, that's who I am, and I almost felt like everyone should know that. His parents divorced while he was still young, and Nick's father went to work in North Carolina. He would spend his childhood bouncing back between both mom and dad's home, living in two different states. When Nick was eight years old, his granddad gave him a bunch of musical instruments, and Nick fell in love with performing. It didn't take long for the outspoken kid to go from music to stand-up comedy. He was good enough that his dad ended up giving him some airtime on his show. Thanks, Dad. Helping pave the way for Nick to perform at popular comedy clubs. Although his career seemed to be already falling into place, outside of the spotlight, young Nick was hanging out with the wrong kids and was even supporting the Bloods. Ooh. I think he made that up. Bouncing between homes became a blessing because a lot of the friends he was hanging out with during this time have since been killed or been locked away. While Nick lived with his dad in Charlotte, North Carolina, he joined a group called Check This Out, a program that taught young black kids the basics of video production. There he learned how to operate a camera, record audio, and host programming. Not bad. Yeah, wish they had that for me. Wouldn't have taken me a decade to build all this. He went to Monte Vista High in California and got to work on Charming the Ladies. He lost his virginity when he was just 13 to an older girl and actually started crying soon after, which wouldn't be his last time, you know, getting with an older girl. I'm probably crying. 
Oh, you guys are look. You gotta be looking at her. Yeah, he's taking his clothes off though. This is good. Get comfortable, Nick. In high school, young Nick was voted best dressed and showed early signs that he was a go-getter as the president of the African American Society. He was also an athlete in track and high jump, and his luck with the women only got better when he became a paid star collecting a paycheck from Nickelodeon while he was still a teenager. Good for him. Nick's first major gig was as the warm up comedian for the live audience of the sketch comedy show All That. And Nick was so enthused and so talented. Well, the producers, they decided to make him a cast member. Okay. You know, the only thing I like about this job is the free sodas. <laughs> He was also hired to be a writer on the show, making 17 year old Nick the youngest staff writer in television history. So who can say he's not talented? Oh shit, I did. You done fucked up now! This early success led to the development of The Nick Cannon Show, which aired in 2002, and he was also able to add the credits of director and producer to his resume. Yeah, very talented shit. No stop in this kid who had also formed a rap group with his friends known as the G4 Dope Bomb Squad. Yeah, I know, pretty lame name. But remember, this was the 90s. They did very well and went on to open for similar family friendly artists like Will Smith, LFO, Montel Jordan, and at one point, he was some kind of backup dancer or singer for Little Romeo. Ventured onto the big screen with a small role in Men in Black 2, then starred as a badass snare drummer in the 2002 film Drum Line, which was actually pretty good. I mean, all he wanted to do was be the best little drummer boy he could be. What? Yeah, I'm the man. You the man. When that movie came out, I was blown away by Nick Cannon's performance. I thought he was the shit. Apparently, the ladies did too, because when the cameras weren't rolling, the Nickelodeon star, well, he was swimming through babes in La La Land. Nick moved on to a more mature audience on MTV with his most successful show yet, an improv show called Wild and Out. That same year, he got to meet his celebrity crush, which happened the first time while he was presenting at the Teen Choice Awards. Mariah Carey, we belong together! After three years of Nick pursuing the pop diva, it would seem the two did belong together. Well, kind of. Or for a little while. That's for the rest of the story. Well, you know the story because this is before they're famous. If you want us to go into more details about Nick's life and career while in the spotlight, that's something we would do in an after they're famous. Let us know if that's something you want to see in the comments down below. My name is Michael McCrudden. Check out some of these other videos we have right here. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And uh, as always, let us know in the comments down below who you want us to document next. Say Mariah, I really want to roast her in an after. Just say it. I've been to Mariah house. I've seen Nick's garage. There was a little pink Barbie car in there. He must be Nick Minaj.